Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a very quick way to do a color boost pick me up, make the color picture more colorful. You know, it's got dark if it's in shadow, for example. You'll need the my color models macro here, and down below are the links to pick up the those macros and install them. It's free, by the way. It doesn't cost you anything, and it's very useful. So let's first of all, I'm going to go to the RGB plus W here, click on this, and I'm going to get an RGB layer with the whites selected and removed from this. And what I'm going to do with the white W layer there, I'm just going to take that off. And all this does is takes this layer here, it adds it into the picture below, and all, all of a sudden just the colors are improved, not the tonality of it. And that's the key thing that's happening here. If it's a little on the bright side, there's too much, you can just turn it down. So you go to the opacity, you start low and move it up until it's just about nice. So it's it's still looking natural, not overly done. OK, here's another picture. Let's do the same thing here. Now we go up here and I turn off the whites here. Building's nice, but the sky is kind of looks a bit too bright on this. So I need effectively to mask this out. I could use the something like HSL and reduce the cyans, but there's a lot of cyan in this image here in the hotel. So what I'm going to do is go to the bottom layer here, go to the selection brush, make sure add and snap to edges is on. And then I can click into the sky here and this is going to pick it up quite quickly here. Alt click where it's just missed the edge of the building a bit. There we go. What I want to do is select this, the building, not the sky. So I'm going to invert this. So select and invert pixel selection. Now when I go to the RGB less W layer and I click on the mask down here, it will automatically, automatically select this area, but not the sky. So as you can see here, if I put that before and after there, I've re retained the original sky whilst brightening the image here. Control D there and that's the original and that's with it. The colors perked up and see this just boosted it through the shadows. One more, let's do this one. And I'll do RGBW here with this. Open this up and go to the W layer and just turn that off. And that's brightened this one up. What I'm going to do here is say, well, what if you wanted to you know, say, why not use CMYK? Why is this RGBW stuff? Let's have a look. Hit Control J on here. So I'm going to take this one up to here, select those two of them, and then I can hit Control G for a group. So this is my original, I like to call it RGBW here. And I'm going to turn that one off so that I can now apply this to the CMY-K here. I get the same effect, but CMY taken out and, a, and the blacks taken out as opposed to the whites. So if I turn off the blacks here, here you can see it, it's kind of boosted the image, but in a different way. And itself is useful, and, and this is my, what, you, what you might want. But it's not the same as the original up here, which is what we did, which was just the color improving. This one as well. Um, you could say, well, let's take this one here. If I want to do something similar, could I change the blend mode? Currently it's on multiply. And I could go down to something like overlay. And that does a lot brighter one, but still compare it with the original here. Yeah, that's a, let's see, that's more subtle color boost. Whereas this, the key thing is in here, it's got the whites boosted in here as well. So you get a much whiter, you know, image and, and again it's an effect that you you may like and you prefer or you may prefer the more subtle just boosting the color that's it uh, thank you very much for watching